Don't buy Pfizer stock until you watch this analysis video. You'll either want to buy more or avoid it altogether. Let's find out. First, does the stock have a good business behind it? We're going to look at 14 metrics to determine how good of a business we have. Each metric will be added up to 70 to see where we are on the scale, which can range from a terrible business all the way to a great business. These first five metrics deal with the company's financial health. To get those five points, earnings growth will need to be 20% or higher. Profit margins will need to be 40% or higher. Operational effectiveness will need to be 80% or higher. The average employee value needs to be $400,000 or higher, and the quick ratio will need to be 2.5 or higher for a max 25 points. The next four metrics show us the shareholder opportunity. To get those five points, the dividend yield will need to be 4% or higher. Payout ratio will need to be at 0%. Cash and its equivalent will need to be $75 billion or higher, and the stock returns will need to be 15% or higher for a max of 20 points. And the last five metrics deal with the company's business valuation. To get those five points, the PE ratio will need to be 9.99 or lower. The PEG ratio will need to be 0.49 or lower. The SMA 200 will need to be negative 10% or lower. The short float will need to be 0.99% or lower and the Wall Street rating will need to be 1.49 or lower for a max 25 points. Adding all 14 metrics together, we get the business grade for the company with a max point total of 70 being the perfect business. But as long as the total is above 35, we have a good business behind the stock. For long-term investors, I tried to avoid stocks with a weak or terrible business, regardless whether it's undervalued or not. Next, is the stock undervalued right now? I use a 30-year intrinsic value model with a 10% margin of safety to account for any errors. This margin is purely optional, but I like to include it in my calculations to be more conservative in my estimates. The intrinsic value is scaled from 0 to 100 depending on its value relative to its current stock price. This can range from expensive all the way to being a bargain. Taken alone, a point value over 50 means the stock is undervalued right now. But be careful because many terrible businesses can be undervalued and it doesn't necessarily mean it's a good investment. Before we get to our final grade, join my Patreon. You'll get access to every company I've analyzed, good for short-term and long-term investors. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com slash shares or click on the link in the description. We can now add up our business grade and our intrinsic value. Taking the weights into account, we can surmise the final grade on a 0 to 100 point scale. This can range from a bad investment all the way to a great long-term investment. If you're planning to buy and hold this stock for a long time, I'd only consider the company if the final grade is above 50. If you're interested in more, I have a separate series of videos going through the intrinsic value. I actually calculate four intrinsic values for every company, depending on what type of investor you are. Check it out here. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.